first waypoint mission is in the field. We're going to do it on location. And we're going to use the C1 button when you go into waypoints. The C1 button becomes lowers the waypoint. So I press on this button at the top and it says plan waypoint flight. So I'm going to fly the drone away from me here. I'm going to press the C1 button and put the first waypoint down. I'm then going to fly the drone a little bit further and to the left and I'm going to put the second waypoint down. And then I'm going to fly the drone up over here, lift the drone up a touch so it's looking over the golf course and press the third waypoint. Okay, So that's the waypoint mission. And if we looked at the little buttons on the top it'll say it's the speed at the end of the flight we want to return to home on signal and waypoint one start point uh, we can look at um, go back to here and if we look at these here now we've got we took one out let's put that down again so I'll put that back on sometimes you make that sort of simple mistake uh, the duration is 13 seconds the distance is if I click over here on this it'll say whether you, I want to actually save that or not I can say that I already saved one from quite a while ago in May when I did the test on the Mavic 4 Pro but I won't save that now I'll just leave it for a second but we can say next and we can fly this waypoint you see we can sort of actually say what we're going to do if we come back out of that let's press on that there make sure we've got all the settings just to show you the settings again where we've got everything else duration come out of here press that there that goes back so those are the three different settings on that so let's go to next uh, and then we'll just press go and this should just start now goes back to the original first waypoint It's flying back. It'll drop down and turn. I could press record now if I wanted to. And we could be recording this. It's now rising and turning so that's your three waypoint mission created on the fly in the location that I am so the return home is where it's right and it's going to come back to where we are I'm actually going to abort that now by pressing the return to home let it come down a little bit I've stopped that by pressing the pause button okay so that's your waypoints save okay Next exercise is planning waypoints on Google Maps. Here I'm in the Google Map view. You can see down below on the left hand side is the major view which is in the office. And we're looking at the field near Saunton. Uh, the first waypoint has been down. I've put the second one down now. And I'm going to move the first one because when it, I actually zoomed in on it, I was in the wrong place. So I wanted to be at the top of the field. So I've moved the first waypoint to north of the second waypoint and that's established now. I'm now going to look at the details on that waypoint one. I'm going to pull the altitude down to 25 rather than 50. I'm going to also press start record at the beginning and I'm going to look at the global speed and I want to leave it at 2.5 meters a second. I'm going to go to waypoint 2 we've moved on and then we'll go and put another waypoint down so I've clicked on the third one there the location for it move it around so it's closer to waypoint two. I'm going to change the height, the altitude down to 26, 25, 26 meters. There's 26. And I've clicked on 
waypoint 2 now and drop that to 26 meters as well. Now there is a shortcut I can apply the tool so I hit the apply to all button and that puts it across all of the different settings. The next action is looking at waypoint 2. We don't want any form of camera action on waypoint 2. So I'm going to hit the button for waypoint 2 and I'm going to press none N-O-N-E, none. Make sure that's on waypoint 2. Then we're going to go to waypoint 3 and the camera action on waypoint 3 we want is stop recording. So I'm going to hit the stop recording button for waypoint 3. Then hit the back button to get to the starter menu. Now we're in the starter menu we're going to press the left hand button there and we can see that the mission is here and I'm going to save the current waypoint flight and it's asking me to sync it with the cloud so I can enable this and I can have it auto synced to the cloud. So now we've actually got two menus and I'm going to delete the first one so I've just gone back and deleted that. The second menu is the same so I'm going to name it SAU and save it as SAU. SAU25 so let's hit done and you'll see that this is successfully synced with the cloud. Hope that's helpful. Happy flying. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded.